hello there welcome back to a new video in this video i'll be teaching you how to make clone ids on scratch so if you don't know what clone ids are first of all let me tell you that whenever you make a clone the clone will always do the same thing as all other clones meaning like every clone does the same thing so clone id is making clones making specific clones to do specific tasks and not all of them do the same thing so in order to make this we need one variable first delete this variable and create a new variable called clone id and make it for this sprite only and we must click this or else it wouldn't work we must do it and we will put this under the when green flag clicked and set it to one then what we want to do is let's say i want to make three clones i want to make one here I want to make one here and I want to make one here and it's not random position like the only thing that can do different things to make clones go to different positions but it's the same code so let's repeat three times because we're making three clones and when create clone of myself and change clone ID by one so what you are seeing what is going on here is it's setting clone ID to one and since this is for this sprite only when it creates clone of myself its clone ID would be one but then the clone ID would change but that clone we just created with registered clone ID one wouldn't change because it's a different it's for this sprite only and then we can create change clone id by one and make a new clone its clone id would be two and it will do and when we change its clone id its clone id wouldn't the clone we just made wouldn't have clone id of three will remain two but this one this character the character we're making clones one clones of will have that and then we create a clone of itself and it will have a clone with the clone id 3 yeah so what we want and how we are going to check which clone id is which is we're going to put if statement and what we want to put is if clone id is one we want to go to negative one why is negative 100 and clone id is two if it were to be two we want to go to x100 y100 and clone id 3 x negative 100 and y 100 and as you can see it made it the first clone is here the second clone is here the third clone is here and you cannot just use them for coordinates but you can also use them for other things like let's say forever First, let me pick some sounds. Yeah, I have some couple of sounds here. So, clone ID, first clone, if touching mouse pointer, play meow. I don't know why it, I have meow, but yeah, it's part of the sprite. And if touching mouse pointer for clone ID, to play sound piano 
and for tree play sound bass let's start it again as you can see this is the first clone and it is fulfilling its task when we are touching it with the mouse it will play sound meow so let's check our second clone As you can see it's also working and not just playing the same sound. Let's check tree, clone tree. As you can see it's working. So you can use clone ID for multiple things. And they can be really useful in some projects. And this has been quite pop. This is really, people really like these kind of things. Like, they definitely want clone IDs and it will make Scratch much more easier. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. And if you enjoy these videos, like and subscribe. And see to see more Scratch tutorials and also some animations so yeah guys that's it for this video and bye